Okay, hello everybody. Um, <clears throat> gonna do a new dash cam video, and if you've seen my previous videos, you can see my background is now dull and boring. I have switched things around. Um, so eventually I hope to have stuff behind me. Um, make it a little more interesting back there. I'm just a poor teacher, but if I could afford a green screen, if anyone wants to help me out with a green screen, hint, hint, just kidding. Um, but I would like a green screen at some point. Um, maybe put a green screen back there. Um, maybe some wall lights. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I tend to make it more interesting at some point back here. <clears throat> it's kind of a mess still. I'm still trying to get organized. Um, luckily you can't see the mess that I can see because I've got old computers packed up behind me and got stuff on chairs that I'm not using. Um, my cords are all a mess behind my screen, my two screens. I gotta figure all this stuff out. Um, because I just set it a, basically a kitchen table. I do have a desk, it's in my living room, but I don't like the desk. It's small and it's up against the wall, but... It's like at the corner of the wall where it angles 90 degrees, so I'm up against the wall that angles away. <laughs> so I feel kind of hemmed in. Um, so anyway, I just sit at the kitchen table. Eventually I want to change that situation too and maybe set something up in another room. I mean, I live in a one-bedroom apartment, but maybe I could like something, something up in a corner of my bedroom. Get another small desk or something, so it's an actual desk that I can tuck things away properly. Um, I also have a different sound system, so if it sounds off or different um, in the recording, drop a comment, let me know what sounds different, what needs to be changed, etc. Because I'm trying new things. So anyway, here's a new dash cam came out today. Um, speaking of dash cams, I actually saw one of these and I, too bad I don't have a dash cam, because it would have been an awesome thing to upload for myself. Um, I was driving back from a feed store, um, um, large animal feed store, because I have a horse, um, and I honestly saw somebody brake checking. Two different cars. Um, he, like, tailgated one car. And then literally got in the turn lane, drove in the turn lane to get past the car, got in front of the car, and literally brake checked him two or three times before speeding off and then darting around people. He even got into a, an actual left turn lane at a light and went straight <laughs> and then brake checked somebody else. I was like, wow, there's a story for my dash cam videos. I didn't have it recorded. I should have, like, grabbed my phone, but I was driving, so I didn't really want to do that. But it was just, like, if I had someone else in the car, I would have had them record it. Like, here's my phone, record this, because this is just crazy. Um, but I was alone. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, like, wow, there's a actual brake check live happening right in front of me. I was in the right lane, they were in the left lane, so I wasn't anywhere, like, where I was going to be in danger. Um, I kept my distance. Um, and the, actually, the second person that that person brake checked, um, eventually just got real slow and just let that person take, and that person took off, and honestly, I don't know what happened, but he reached, um, this went on for maybe a half mile, mile, give or take, and he reached a turnabout, or a turn lane, that basically used you back to the other side of the road to go the other way, and this guy or woman, I couldn't really tell who it was, I think it was a guy, but don't quote me on that. I'm not positive. It was a little white car on top. And that was that's the other thing. It was a white little car trying to brake check SUVs. Why do little cars think they can brake check bigger vehicles and not get crushed? It's just like, you dummies. Anyway, it literally, the driver, it, the driver literally just took that turn and U-turn and went back the other direction, the direction we had just come from. Um, so I don't know if they were just out driving around looking to brake check people, hoping somebody would run into them. Because I live in Texas, and in Texas, I believe, unless it's changed, um, if you run into somebody, if you rear in somebody, you're automatically at fault, unless you can prove that it was not your fault. Um, hence, the dash cameras come in handy. And even then, I don't know that you get off. I've never had it happen, but um, I believe that's the law. Um, 
Because there was an increase, because Texas for a while had the red light cameras, and there was an increase in, in rear-ending, people getting rear-ended. Because people stopping suddenly at a red light because they didn't want to get the red light camera ticket. Um, yeah. Of course, it's been abolished in the last couple of years. But it was still fun to see an actual brake check happen right in front of me. Not just I've seen it happen where it's just like a couple times, and then the person speeds off. Um, but this was like somebody tailgating somebody and then literally getting in an actual like yellow, double yellow line turn lane to get around them and then brake check them three, three or four times and then speed up and then hit a light and then get in the left turn lane and go straight from the left turn lane and get in front of somebody else and brake check them. So I think this, more than likely this person was literally trying to get somebody to wear in them, um, for insurance scam, which is actually illegal. Um, that's why dash cams come in handy, because if you can actually catch that these people are actually doing this on purpose, then the person who runs them is not at fault, even in Texas. Um, anyway, it was just interesting to actually see an actual break check happen right in front of me. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough, so let's see what's in this video. Welcome back, Welcome guys. guys. Hope you'll, you'll enjoy today's, today's video, video, too. too. Stay safe. Again, let me know if the sound is off or weird, because I have to space the sound bar behind me, or behind the screens. So we're in Florida. Yeah, okay. Dummy. Really? This is not a double turn line. Not a double turn line, people. And then you've got a big truck coming. I don't know why people have to come to a stop to get into a turn lane. I really, and that's the wrong turn lane on top of that. That's the wrong turn lane. What are you doing? Goodness gracious. Is this the same trucker? What was that? I missed whatever happened in that one. In the one at night. Okay. I don't know what was going on with those. I didn't see anything. Whoa! Holy crap. Holy crap. I got a new vehicle, man. I don't want to see that stuff hitting my vehicle. Good dodging, though, buddy. Good dodging. Georgetown, Texas. Yeah, you, you dropped something. Orlando, Florida, guy in a motorcycle. Going 48, 47, 48. Okay. What the hey? Um, hi car. No. Yeah. Ottawa, Ontario. Where my dad was born. And I have relatives that still live there. Woo! Good catch, buddy. Construction sucks, but getting rear-ended because you slowed to a near-dead stop to go over a little bump would be way worse. Truth. I hit bumps and just bounce in the seat, man. Come on now. That's what chalks in your car are for. Um. Whoa! Whoa, that was close. A hole put in front of me and then braked. I was so close to hitting them. Almost sounded like someone hit you, dude. I hope not. I hope that was just your car. On 35 North, near Empire Exit. Okay. Crazy storms coming through. It's 9 p.m., not 6 p.m. It was raining sideways and windy AF. This recording does not do it justice. Very scary. I have a 2017 Jetta really low to the ground. Yeah, no. I'm already low to the ground, not being a tall person, so that's why I like trucks. I'm actually getting cars now. I'm just like, what the heck? Oh! Holy crap. Water slowed me down faster than my brakes. Went from 55 to 20 in a heartbeat. My stomach got in a knot. I saw the car behind me coming in fast. I quickly jumped into second gear and hit the gas to avoid being hit. You're lucky you didn't hydroplane, buddy. Santa Monica. The worst of humans. The worst of humans. Okay. I guess that's the title. 
This man starts throwing trash out all windows at construction workers. Why? They're just doing their job, buddy. I confronted him, tell him that I have it on all dash cam, and he proceeded to become aggressive and use racial slurs. He needs to be found and pay for his behavior. I, it, the construction workers are just doing what they're told. They're they're put there by the city and by the state. Like, they don't have any control. You don't like it, don't drive through there. Seriously. You didn't even hit them. Like, you weren't anywhere close. Then if they're trash out the window, at least make it close to trying to hit them. Make it worth your while. Since I got through a dash cam doing that, that's a good idea to go pick up there. I'm going to take it to the police. I'm going to get a big ticket. Why are the racial slurs? I can hear them. One more trash. How much trash is in this person's car? Did we not clean out our car? Clearly we do not clean out our car very often. Oh, we ran out of trash, so we have to do the finger. Is that it? We ran out of, we ran, ran out of trash. Hope you feel good about that. Is that all you got? Man, that's glittering. That's, that's, that's just not, that's not cool. cool. We live here, dude. I don't know what area you're about, about, but you take it out take and take it out. Take 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 out. Oh my gosh. Driver said she fell asleep at the wheel. No injuries reported at the moment of the accident. Th thanks to That's me running to the vehicle after the crash. I stayed with the driver until police EMT arrived. Holy cow. Don't drive when you're tired, people. Let me check on, Let me check on. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my post story about Joe Biden. Hickory, North Carolina. Facebook and Twitter took action on Wednesday to limit the distribution of... Uh, hello? With unconfirmed claim. Dummy. Don't look at your phone. There was no damage, so I let it go to keep traffic going. Don't look at your phone while you're driving. Does the New York Post, America's oldest paper, not have you? Goodness gracious. <gasps> I was turning left into a parking lot, and I was in the turn lane that had no gore. What does that mean? A police report was filed, and they cited the other drivers being at fault, waiting for a copy of the police report to file claim to do in their insurance. <clears throat> Check your finger, like, naughty. Winnipeg! Woohoo! Oh. <gasps> what just what happened, happened there? there? What was that? I pulled over and gave the guy my, gave my guy. Let's try that again. I pulled over and gave the guy my business card and told him if he wanted the footage to shoot me an email, shoot me email. But he never contact he never contacted me yet. People learn how to English. He hasn't contacted me yet. He never contacted me means he hasn't, he never got in touch with you. He had done it. Never indicates it never happened. It's not going to happen. You add yet, that means it might happen. So that should be he hasn't contacted me yet. Sorry, little rant on English there. But everybody on site was okay. Also, should be an email, not shoot me email. Did it change lanes? I got that on camera. What happened? Oh, San Antonio, Texas. I want to take a drive down there one weekend. Then again, maybe not. Uninjured driver in the SUV. Nothing else to it, fortunately. That's good. What? 
San Jose, California. Um, hi, dude. Hello. A mini nearly sized white man was way closer than it appears. That actually looked pretty close, so it's amazing he didn't touch you. Oh, excuse me. Left lane was closed because of construction. There were multiple signs before this. Okay. Oh! He was in the lane that was going to be closed, so he should have merged long, a long time ago. His turn signal was literally a beam. My head was a beam my head, so I didn't see it. What does that mean? Was above my head? He took blame right away, in turns paying it out as his fault. That's good. At least he admitted to it. Hey, exit one. You don't see that very often. Most people try to deny it happening. Sunnyvale, California. Rear end. Boom. Ooh. The insurance company is working on the claim. You should have had a rear cam there. Toronto. Been there. I had a cousin that lived there. Really, dude? You overshot the turn. What are you doing? No, I, no idea exactly what happened after, but I'll leave that truck stop to check on the guy, and I believe he is okay since he was conscious to put on four-way flashers. Well, at that moment he was. Didn't mean he wasn't later. Adrenaline was probably flowing. In an accident, your adrenaline starts flowing, and you don't necessarily pass out right away, unless you get knocked out. But hopefully he's okay. Winnipeg, again. Whoa! Okay, Winnipeg driver. Just some guy pulling out right in front of me while on a 60 kilometer road. Dang. That's like 40 ish. 30, 40. Can't remember my conversion rate. Hi, Atlanta, Georgia. Oral, proct oral proctologist driving white truck would have taken off my front end if I hadn't dodged his dumbass. <laughs> Defensive driving people is important. Okay, that was a good one. Um. Anyway, yeah, just be safe out there, people. Don't drive aggressively and drive defensively and just keep out for, ooh, sorry, keep out for other idiots on the road. Take care, everybody.